This video is brought to you by Factory Direct Trains. Visit FactoryDirectTrains.com and check out their wide selection of model railroading products and supplies. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and I've got a quick preview of what's coming up this week and next week on my channel, plus a quick tip for you guys. This week we're officially starting the DDRR 2.0, the DIY and Digital Railroad 2.0. And we're starting with taking a look at the bench work for the majority of the layout and then we're going to be doing some of the base wiring for power as well as prepping the layout for future wiring by making spaces for wires to run that's what's coming up this week then next week we're going to be looking over the track plan for the diy and digital railroad 2.0 and if you watch the may live stream you saw us design that railroad live and I'm going to be going over some of my thought process and why I did certain things in a certain way. So that's what's coming up this week and next week. Now, on to my quick tip. My quick tip for this week is to keep your wiring neat. Now, when I did my first version of this layout, my wiring was an absolute mess and it really was a hindrance to regular maintenance on the railroad. So when you're doing your beginning stages of constructing your layout, Make sure you leave spaces and you do some planning in regards to the wiring. Don't just haphazardly put wires in all sorts of different places. You're going to alleviate a lot of headache in the future if you keep your wires neat and do some planning for your cable management. And that's my quick tip for this week. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates like this quick tip video. I gotta get back to work on the new DIY and Digital Railroad. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading!